What's up everybody? It's your girl Sunshine and today we are about to have a meeting. When I say we, I mean me, myself, and all of the other mentors, trainers out here in the trucking industry. Turbo is to my right. He'll be taking the meeting minutes. So, I know you guys are like, oh my gosh, she put Swift in this. She's probably doing this to get some views. No, this is not about that. I was already going to do a headline title in this because this has been a subject that I have been meaning to address for the longest. And now it's to the point where I'm like, now is the time to address it. So this meeting is not really so much talking to the Swift drivers, but this meeting is really directly towards not only the Swift mentors, I just use them because they are the most, um, most heard of trucking company name that most people are familiar with and I want to reach out to their mentors as well as any other mentor or trainer from any other company or school or all of you guys so to, this is gonna be I want to keep this short and straight to the point and to start this meeting off, I am just going to say it's not always the driver's fault. Now, I know in my other video, I said, or one of my videos, I said, everybody is not meant to be a driver. Driving is not for everyone. So a lot of times when you see crazy things that are going on with drivers chances are it probably wasn't had nothing to do with the training that the driver went through he probably went through all of the above the most rigorous um strict training course possible but sometimes it could be the driver but let me tell you a little bit about myself and where I've come from. I am from Michigan. I am a license, not, not, I don't know how you guys receive your company, not company certified, but I am a licensed state certified instructor from the state of Michigan. We have one of the most strict no zero tolerance licensing divisions in of all of the out of all of the other states our state police does not play they are zero tolerance and that's one of the things that i love about them is that they do not tolerate instructors training schools um, training CDL licensing uh, divisions that half step on their job. They will audit you, they will get rid of you, and that's just straight to the point. So to bring that up, I want to say that I think I have an idea of what the problem is with these drivers that are doing just about some of the things that we're seeing in these YouTube videos or on these news articles are simple things that the drivers are getting into when they when they get out here and a lot of it regardless of what you guys um think has something to do with the training now this video is not about me I am not going to sit here and bash Swift trucking company or any other trucking company at all but I want to address the train 
nurse, the mentors, whoever is out there thinking about, if you're out there thinking about becoming a mentor. Now, let me give you an example of where I'm coming from. I was working for a trucking company, a particular trucking company, and I did a local run for them, and it was hauling, I was hauling auto parts from point A to point B. Now in these, in this situation, the docks were really, really, really tight to where you had to almost, if you were not a good backer, you could not perform the duties of the job. Now, this particular company, they needed drivers really bad. They all, it, who, who don't need drivers really bad? But this particular company, they needed drivers really bad. So they were trying to make anybody a mentor. And they are not the only ones that are doing that. So there was a particular driver, he just started that particular my lane and this driver I mean he had all the other drivers jumping out of their truck and they were jumping out of their truck and he was all he just didn't have the concept in backing at all and we all tried to help him and do you know what this driver said he said if I do not get this driver this truck in the dock after 20 attempts then I will ask you guys to assist me now every <laughs> driver that was parked in the bays looked and like yeah right buddy you're gonna listen to one of us and you are going to get this in the dock because you're not gonna hit our trucks now so speeding it up i spoke to this driver after eventually after about five attempts another driver ended up having to a more seasoned driver ended up having to get him in a dock i spoke to the driver and he worked because he worked for the same company as me and he was like yeah and they're there they already asked me he's like yeah i'm just having a bad day and they already they already asked me to become a mentor and I'm thinking about doing that to make extra money. And I'm like, freeze. What makes you think that you are ready to become a mentor when you just had to have almost 10 drivers trying to give you, get you in this dock? So that's what this meeting is about the mentors and the trainers you when it comes to training someone and signing up for the job you need to make sure do not you need to make sure that you are ready to take on this task do not sign up to become a mentor or a trainer and you can't even drive yourself. So that's really where I think the problem is. I think that they need to make it required that you have, you are, let me tell you something. You are not, I don't care what you may think, you are not ready to start training someone how to drive a truck with this person in your truck driving doing loads after only six months of experience now i'm gonna be honest with you when i was at six months of experience no i wasn't uh running into anything because i had a trainer um i had a trainer that had over 30 years of driving experience and he had in his 30 years of driving experience he did not have any tickets or any accidents in commercial driving he is a gold star five star ten star driver and he is worthy of training but you guys that are getting out here after six months to be honest with you i personally don't think that if you have a year 
of tr of a driving experience that you are ready to have another person in your truck and start training them you are still you are you don't have i don't care this is my personal opinion you are not ready to have another driver in your truck yes you're you're just now getting used to the road in the the you have not touched the surface of experience you are not ready to have another driver in your truck what you are teaching them are your bad habits when you are teaching them things that you are learning so they're learning your bad habits you're passing down bad habits trucking companies yes there is a high demand for drivers but now i'll say this they can do whatever they want to do they can do whatever they want to do if they want to approve you to become a mentor or a trainer or whatever then that's them they they're thinking about the money 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 and they got to get drivers more drivers in their trucks asap because the more their empty trucks sit the the they're losing money so they do not care but guess what when you are not ready to take on a the the role the responsibility of becoming a an instructor you put your own life in danger you cannot let the money you can't let the training pay yes you need more money you need to you're trying to look for ways to make more money but guess what you are taking on the responsibility of another's driver's life is in your hand there is blood in <laughs> in your hands because you when you tell this driver and what you pass down to this driver is at the end of the day it may not lead back to you but if this driver gets out here and runs into a bridge or if he gets out here not even not even that if he gets out here and he makes a turn too short and he takes or if he can't if he he's speeding and he runs into someone and takes someone's life you are sort of responsible for part of this driver's behavior because you are passing down your training and what you've learned on him so if you are not ready and you don't have that much experience you are passing down inexperience to someone who has hardly any experience at all so do you really want that not only that there are companies that you get in the truck and they give you all these miles and you're expect they're expecting this driver this new driver to get into a truck and learn and learn how to drive the truck at the same time you're mentoring this person if you are working you have yes you have an 11 hour driving clock and they do as well but guess what? You eventually, you're going to get tired. And what if you fall asleep? Also, I don't care what you say. If this driver is, you're inexperienced, you don't have enough experience to train, and this driver has hardly any experience, and you're driving and something, a rock or something hits the windshield. This new Abe experienced driver, if he decides to swing that wheel over in how much time do you have to stop that driver from running into that wall or running into that person? Are you really ready to become a mentor or a trainer and now to keep it like i'm not even trying to use them as an example but if you look at their their website it says um industry leading training when you join them driving driving force when you join the swift driving force you join our family after earning your cdl we'll match you with an experienced mentor that's all fine and great it says together you'll drive 200 to 300 learning hours learning your craft do you know what 200 hours is that's 18 days 
that's fine. You're going to be, okay, 318 to 27 days, you're going to be in a truck with another driver. If you're, if you don't have that much experience and you have another, that's 30 days, almost 30 days that you are putting your own life at risk of that driver being in that truck with you. And then it says after 200 to 300 learn hours learning your craft, you'll gain some experience. 18 days is not enough. 18 to 27 days, you really have not gained anything. You have not gained anything in 18 to 27 days. It says you'll gain experience and get paid to train. You'll get paid to, after you gain experience, you'll get paid to train. We provide you with a driver leader for 24 seven support on the road. Now, I don't know, I'm not going to take your words and twist it because I don't know where this driver leader is going to be, but it says 24-7 support on the road. Hey, driver leader, I just ran into a bridge. Like, how can you, like, is that a phone call away from a 24-hour support? Somebody please help me. I'm not trying to break it down, but all I'm saying is you, in order to be a good and also bam if you are going to train don't do it for the money do not do it for the money do it because you are passionate about teaching and you really care about this person getting their license and becoming you really care about them becoming a good driver now let me tell you my brother just recently graduated from a truck driving school and the whole time he was calling me and talking to me he was complaining saying they're trying to rush me into the next stage and he failed his first test and he said well i failed it because you know the it stalled out or something like that and i'm like you know so i'm giving him advice and everything and i'm like you know what I thought that's what motivated me to do this video because my brother just got his per, his license to drive and now I'm thinking like oh my god where is he going to go to to get the rest of his uh his training and who's going to be the one that gives him the rest of the tools that he need to for launching him into the industry and how can we how can i prevent him from being another one of those drivers that get out here with their license in their first year or less they have banged up almost everything truck rollovers ripped the doors off their trailers turn just every little bitty thing now i am concerned and i said <laughs> I hope that the person that trains him and gives him the tools cares about teaching.